about to leave already packing come with me i'm not really asking we'll get away good morning packer welcome back to our channel at nine o'clock we have to go to the dentist they're gonna do something to her retainer no they're, gonna, no they're gonna look at it see if i have to keep it longer or if i do have to keep it longer they're gonna make the bottom tighter because and she doesn't want to go to school but i said you have to all right guys see you at the dentist <laughs> she did it on purpose she's not planning on going to school this morning but she will <laughs> where we at mimi the dentist Ooh. she might be getting her retainer off and getting real braces is that true mimi Invisalign today? I don't think so. We'll see. Already? We're three minute hurly, so when we're three minute hurly, we got to vlog about it. Got anything to say, anybody? I got the most <laughs> boring vlogging family in the internet, guys. Welcome to our channel. <laughs> the girls are getting bagel cream cheese on the back. So this morning, my coffee, instead of costing me $2, cost me $9. Wish I woke up 15 minutes early. I would have given them bread at home. Yeah, like we just bought two loaves and we went finished in like three days. How do you finish 48 slices of bread in three days? They're worse than pigeon. You, you know when we were growing up, do you remember they used to tell us margarines are going to give you all these horrible diseases? You have to eat better. No, so you, you misunderstood that. They said you have to eat better. <laughs> better, not butter. What was that face for? <laughs> Three weeks with a pulled muscle in the back. It's so painful. Why? Hey, guys, we're late now. It's 901. Time to go to the dentist. <gasps> Shoes are not the same. I love it. That's. I didn't know it was my phone. I thought you were using your phone. But I have face suit too. Oh, I like that one. That, that one goes good on you. What's up? Beautiful. That's what you're gonna look like gonna... when you're older, do you know that? Ew! I'm gonna look like that, and she's prettier than you, so. She barely talks, but she's pretty. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what to say. All right, it's our turn, guys. We gotta go. Did you just put your lips back? But I wonder if you hear me. Can you hear me? Was it folded up? It was like this. It was like the top was like this. Let me see. Let me see a profile. Let me see. let me level that thing. Is that level? It's not level, but there's it's less. Better, right? The, yeah, there's lots of an overpack. This line are gonna bring these one down. That, right? Yeah, back. But I'm not gonna have it in today. No, not today, right? That's what Sadly. I thought. I thought it was not today. So it what makes... are you gonna get today? More more things? The same thing? Yeah. The spider? <laughs> yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Is butter better for you? No. No? Vegetable is better for you. How's it feel? Oh it my god. Tighter? Look. Is it tighter? Did you get it all off? You like it now? Yeah. Does it feel better? Lighter or something? Same. Lighter. We were too noisy, so we got kicked out. Sorry, guys. We're done. And it was fun. And Mimi's really happy. So I have a question. So did you guys get really kicked out from the dentist's office? Yeah. We were all talking too loud. Like, the dentist says I can't concentrate. So you're gonna leave. How much but concentration do you need? So vlogging kind of freaks me out in public places because I'm like, oh god, like yeah, I'm really, <laughs> like so for someone like me who I get embarrassed even when I don't have to be embarrassed, it's just like the worst. I just have to kind of like because because <laughs> often people will either look at you or wonder what you're doing or get or, kicked out of places, which I'm like or you're gonna that say, freaks well, me out, yeah. you know? Like, but it doesn't really bother me at all. I'm filming my children. I'm here for a certain reason. I'm not not interested into you personally. So I don't, I don't think people should get involved and be like, oh, I don't want, I'm not filming you, right? So. Not, not even, this is like maybe the first time. 
But still, yeah. it freaks me out. <laughs> yes. People just react weird to cameras. When they see cameras, they're afraid to be on the camera. They're afraid to be filmed. They don't want to be exposed. And they don't know why you're there, I guess. And they're worried about, oh, why is he filming here? And, and it just comes out in a very weird way, I think. That might be it too. But listen, that's everybody's right. I mean, that's not my office. I was there at the dentist for a service for my children. I got that service. I wasn't there to film vlog. So I do understand that. But it's still a little bit on the line about that one. I mean, okay guys, so I have a dilemma. I don't want to go to work today. I actually don't even have to go. But then I feel really guilty because I'm like, I should go and show up and just say hi to people. But I'm calling you, don't want to. Can I just stay home? So comment down below, should she go or not? Let me put it this way. If you go to work today, what is that going to bring to the business that's going to make the business move forward? Actually, nothing would make the business go forward if I go to so, work today. So what could you do that would fulfill these two requirements? Staying home and doing something that made the company move forward. I could get loyalty cards printed. I can get, I can actually get stuff. Bang! <laughs> Another case solved, guys. So you stay home. You're not feeling guilty about it anymore because now you're making the business move forward. While well, before you were going to work, but you were not really going to work. You were just going to do active presence, which is, doesn't help your business. Get it? Can I stay home because I'm not doing anything over there? <laughs> That's not true for school kids, okay? You will reach your goal if you go to school because you're learning something. I don't need to go to school. The so... dentist is right. You guys are very noisy. Where did you guys park? Where's our car? I'm vlogging here. Where's our car, guys? I don't know where we parked. Where are you going to go if you find the car? You're not going anywhere. I have the car keys. <laughs> I have the car keys. You're not going anywhere. <laughs> Bring Charlotte to daycare. The car just like started making crazy noise. I think it's the gear that's trying to move the car and the car won't move anymore. Dutch caravan stuck here in the entrance. Let's see what happened when I'm trying to move. It won't go into the gear, it seems like. It's only four years old. 137,000 kilometers, that's not much. I'm gonna have to leave the car here. Go back home by walk, I guess. And then we're gonna call the garage and gonna fix it. Hold on, let's call mama and tell her. Hey, the car, the car is broken. It's stuck, the gear, the gear won't work anymore. Okay, so I need to call the towing truck. Okay, I'm gonna call Dodge right now. Okay, me and the Packers, we're gonna walk home and I'll, I'll see you yeah. this afternoon. I'm gonna bring her upstairs and then we'll see. Okay, bye. bye. It's only 11, so I think it's better if she goes to daycare right now. Spend the day here with friends playing. I think it's gonna be better for her. All right, guys, so what do you think we should be doing? Should we get rid of this Dodge Caravan and just buy a brand new car? The only problem I have with this is it's almost paid off. I was thinking like finishing paying this car, if there's a little bit of repair that has to be done after, it's not a big deal because it's our paid off. Then we can buy another car, so we have two cars. But now this car, we had the engine replaced. We had the radiator replaced. We had all the brake pad replaced. We had like the entire engine, entire engine was replaced at 100,000 kilo. And now we're only 37 kilo into the new engine. So it's pretty cool. We have a brand new engine so I, I, I think it, there's value into it but three thousand dollars for transmission at least I'm pretty sure that's a lot of money what should we do should we get rid of that car and just buy a new one I, I feel like it's ridiculous these days this car is perfect there's no problem with this car but it keeps breaking up I don't know it's a big decision and I don't know if we should keep investing in it engine new what else seriously what else could be breaking in this car it's a brand new car really at this point I am very happy with the Dutch caravan in general except for keeping braking because I I like it it's it's really comfortable it's very useful it's it's large it's like it works very well comment down below what do you think what do you think we should be doing with this van with the dutch caravan so 2013 so the towing is here all right guys so this is it it's going back to the garage it's going to get fixed things happen you just gotta roll with it and then go on and there's something positive is going to get out of it maybe i would have had a car accident today who know right Take my hand.